Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Trap from the Evil Cookie Publishing. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the Procreate app, which is the drawing app that I use. And we're going to do a basic tutorial that shows all the menu systems uh, that you can use to uh, get started drawing. So let's get started and roll the intro. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone for watching. This is a part one of a series that I'm gonna do on the Procreate app. Um, the first one is going to be a basic tutorial of all the tools. Uh, and then later on in another video, we'll go in depth, uh, a little bit more intermediate uh, tutorial um, and dive a little bit deeper into the functions. But for this one, we're just gonna do the, the basic functions of Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see I have a project open right now, and this is what I'm going to use to run through the tutorial. But let's go ahead and see what, see what you have on the screen here. So there is no back button on Procreate, and that's one thing I always look for when I'm learning a new software. But in this instance, it's just gonna be your gallery, and your gallery is gonna be everything that you, all the projects that you have. So there's a couple things to deal um, that go along with uh, the gallery screen. First, you're going to have all your projects and thumbnails. Okay. Um, next, you're going to have, if you click on the actual name, you can rename uh, each project that you want. I always forget about this. I normally go for, I'm a visual person, so I go for the thumbnails. So you can rename them if you want. And if you hold a project, it goes in, you can actually sort it um, and if you go back and you click on the name stack and it'll show you how many files are in there if you click on that you can rename that as well so let's go ahead and i'm going to go in this and i'm going to move this guy back in order to move back you can't just drag on the screen and then you want to hover over the stack and it'll automatically go back so then you can put it right here and you're good to go you can actually select them and stack them you can preview them you can share them uh, via email, uh, save them as an image, and so forth. And another good thing to do is duplicate. So if you're making a project and you have a project that you, you want to use the foundations of for another project, you can go ahead and duplicate that, select one, duplicate, and it'll duplicate everything inside that project. And, of course, you can delete as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit the, the X button. And we're going to go back into our project here. All right, first thing is a nice little, to rotate your project, you just wanna use two fingers. You can rotate anywhere you want. You can zoom in, get really good details and so forth. And you go opposite way to kind of pinch it back and get real fine in, pinch it. Now, some people use this hand to do it and they can draw like that. I'm not as skillful and uh, coordinated as them, so I tend to do everything with my right hand. Uh, so I will stop uh, drawing and I will pinch and draw and pinch back. So you can see once I'm in the project section, it really doesn't overburden you with menus. Um, it really puts the focus on your artwork. And that's one thing I really like about Procreate. I'm not one of these guys who likes everything displayed for me and I just, I wanna get into the drawing and then if I need something, I will click and go find it. But Procreate really does a good job with their menu systems. There's really three menus for your project. And so we're gonna actually start over here, which is what uh, I call kind of your, your drawing tools sets. Uh, you're gonna have your brush, your smudge tool, erase, your layering, and then what color is actually selected, and this is gonna be also your coloring uh, uh, tool, and, and I'll dive into that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and do your brushes. Now brushes are a huge part of Procreate, and you can really download uh, packs. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of the creative community make great brushes, and you can load them in here, so if you find one that's uh, a pattern that you like, you can certainly do that. But let's go ahead and click on the brush. Now the brush library is what it's called. This is gonna house everything that once you touch, it's gonna draw for you. 
I'll do another video that dives deeper into the brush system. But for the basis of this video, we're just going to show that the brushes are there and you can select them because you can really go deep into this brush library and you can customize your own and make your own. So really cool system here. So the one thing you really need to know for the basics of, of this video is your recent brushes, sketch in, inking is a big one that I used to draw. I know a lot of people have their favorite brushes. I have a particular favorite brush and it's the technical pen. And so that is what I use probably 75% of the times in my drawing is the technical pen. Now you can see over here in this little menu here, and let's actually change a different brush so you can see the name. So we're gonna do, let's do syrup, because this one really shows up. So you can see how the brush changes over here as you slide this menu up, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a streak with it at the top layer. So we're gonna do just the streak across the, uh, across the canvas, okay? And then we're gonna lower this down and it's basically the brush size. And it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And while we're over here, my favorite tool is of course the undo button because I mess up a lot, you're gonna mess up a lot and especially when you're doing the Apple Pencil and you're squeezing the screen, sometimes the screen doesn't grab and you end up, you know, writing with your fingers. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit the back button, go all the way back. So if you, f if you ever get caught in something and go, oh crap, I did that, I didn't want to, that back button applies to everything across Procreate that, that we're gonna talk about throughout this uh, tutorial series. Whether it's layers, whether it's deleting something, whether it's uh, accidentally erasing something, back button is gonna do it. This little bar down here is gonna be your transparency. So we're gonna raise this guy up. We're gonna do a streak and we're gonna lower this opacity transparency to a percentage. And you can see that it's going through. All right, so hit, let's hit back. So we, we covered the brushes. There's a ton of them. So these are all your categories. You can go into them. You can see there are, I'm not gonna go through each one, but you can really do some cool stuff with this. So that's your brush system and I'll cover that in another video. The next one is gonna be your smudge tool. Now these first three, the brush, the smudge, and the erase tool are very similar in that they all use a brush. And what I mean by that is your eraser is not just one eraser. Your smudge is not just a basic smudge. You can select what you want as far as your smudge tool. So let's go ahead and just go back to syrup. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna smudge them. So you can set your opacity, you can set your brush size for your smudge, and you can see that we're highlighted right there. So let's go ahead and smudge. Now the fourth button up here is going to be your layering system. And Procreate does a great job of layering. If you're new to layering, it's something I highly recommend uh, getting used to because it really helps with your artwork. It helps with editing down the line. If you every single piece is a layer, you want to make an edit to something, you can go to, into a particular layer and edit that. And you can rename your layers uh, if you need that. I'm more of a visual person, so I look for the content. And I will do a separate video just on layering because it really can get complicated and uh, it really helps to actually have a separate video for this. But we're gonna go over the basics. If the little checkbox, if you check it and uncheck it, that layer disappears. Same thing with that. Your background color, let's take off this background. Your background color is in here as well. I can turn this off if I wanna make a transparent background. I can put it back on. I, if I select the actual color, I can change my background. So let's go ahead and go back. And like I said, your back button goes through everything that you do. 
which is really cool. The in is going to be your opacity or your transparency. If I click on that, I come with a menu. I can do opacity here. I can actually put uh, other textures and uh, customization on the layer. But let's just go ahead and do the opacity. If I lower this, you see how it just disappears. If I click on the actual layer, the image of it, you're going to see a lot more stuff. And we'll go through this. This is a little bit more of an intermediate type of tutorial. So we'll go through that on at another time. So that's your layering system. All right, so now we're going to go over to the left side. We already talked about the gallery button, how it goes back. The tool, the uh, wrench, if you click on that, this is going to be your actions menu. And the way it works is you're going to have your navigation across the top here. So add is going to be insert in a file, insert in a photo. You can pull it from your photo gallery, take a photo, add text, and then you're editing. Copy and copy canvas and cut and paste. This really comes in handy in the next video when I really start diving into the layering system. We'll come back to this one and uh, we'll get a little bit more in depth in it. All right, so let's say you want to add a text. So we're going to come here. We're going to add text. See how this little menu comes up? This little A bar click on here, it opens up another menu system. So this is where you can choose your font, have a font that has particular styles on it, bold, italics. You can select that here. As far as design, let's go ahead and highlight the text just by double clicking. You can make the text bigger. Let's go ahead and we're going to show keyboard. We're going to hit return. We're going to type in hello. All right, let's go back in. Highlight both of them. We're going to go back into our font menu system. We can do size. Tracking is really cool. If you want to blend it, maybe it comes a little bit too spaced out. Lead-in is really cool. It's going to be the spacing in between lines. We can really pull it up here. And then baseline, and then, of course, your opacity as well. Over here are your attributes. This is where you can center the text, underline it, and do all kinds of stuff with it. So I'm going to go ahead, done. So I'm going to edit this. So let's go ahead, and we're going to call it, we're going to say, Help Desk. And what, and while you're doing that, you'll see these two little dots that come up. And you also have a menu out here for your quick edits as well, which is really neat. Let's go ahead and pull this over because I really want this into one line. Okay. So this arrow tool up here, it's going to be kind of the way you're going to tell Procreate, I want to work on this particular piece of the puzzle of my project. We can do uniform, which means that if I try to resize this, it's going to keep its shape. Okay, freeform is something I use a lot where I don't want, I want to keep the height, but I really want to shrink it down. So freeform allows you to grab each one of these points and reshape it. Okay. Distort. Is really cool. It, it does exactly what, it's, what it says it's going to do. It's going to distort. And wherever I pick at the point, it's going to distort. Okay. Warp, kind of the same thing. A little bit more detailed. You're, you're going to grab and you can really get creative with some of this stuff. One other tip real quick, when you're in another menu system, you notice that your undo button navigation is gone. One little tip is to go ahead and hit your paintbrush and it'll appear right there. Then you can actually undo. Select the help desk. We're going to select all the font. We're going to change that to black. Okay, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to shift it down here. Not quite small enough. I'm going to go ahead and use my freeform tool. I want it to go all the way across. Let's go ahead and build that down. There you go. 
Perfect. Go ahead and hit our paintbrush. And there you go. Let's go ahead and turn on the background as well. There you go. All right, so let's go back up to our toolbar up here. This magic wand, it's gonna allow you to do a lot of cool stuff. Hue and saturation, it's gonna grab whatever layer you're on. So let's go ahead and go to this guy. So that this guy is selected. If I come up to the magic tool, whatever I do here is gonna apply to just this layer. So let's go to hue, saturation, brightness. Down here, you have a new menu system. Okay, if I hold the brightness all the way down, you can almost make a shadow of them all the way up. It's gonna be bright. Let's go back in the middle here. Saturation, same thing. Hue. One quick tip, if you want grayscale, just take your saturation, go all the way down. Let's go back up here to the magic wand here. You can do your color balance, curves, gradient maps. You can blur it. You can see there's no menu system that comes up with the blur, but you see right up there, 0%. If I drag my pen across the canvas to the wrench, and if we go to canvas, we can crop and resize the canvas. Okay, we're gonna hit done. And let's go back up to the wrench. You can flip the entire canvas, horizontal, vertical. Share is where you're gonna be exporting out of Procreate. So you can save it as a PDF, JPEG, PNG, uh, TIFF. And then of course you got your preferences. You can see here, you can turn off the, the menu system. Uh, project canvas, the, uh, you can do a light interface if you don't like the dark. You can turn that on, everything will be light for you. And of course there's a help button as well. So that really does it for this video. I was like, where's this, where's that, where's this? But they really do a good job of having your artwork front and center. That's what you're working on. If you need to do something, then you, Everything's just one or two clicks away, and uh, they really make it easy. So definitely take advantage of that. But that's going to do it today for this video and part one of the basics of Procreate. If you like this kind of stuff, be sure to like, subscribe, turn on that bell notice, because I will continue this series and go a little bit deeper into what Procreate can do. Uh, but for now, that's a wrap up, and I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.